Hello students, welcome back to my class. So today we are going to start a new lesson of the class 8th. So the name of the lesson is the unit 8 impact of technology on livelihood. So before I start this lesson, uh, let me do a simple interaction that impact of technology on livelihood on this basis only that technology plays a very very essential role in every day's human life in everyone's life yes without technology the life cannot survive right now our whole work is dependent on technology whatever we are using in our day-to-day -day life it is because of the usage of the technology whether it is a smartphones whether it is a work whether it is a office work all things are dependent on the technology so without technology the life cannot survive so this lesson is a very interesting and uh, what I should say the things which we use in our day-to-day -day life is based on that only so without any further delay let's start the first topic is the changes in technology so the first subtopic that we are going to start is the changes in technology how the technology is changing from the past to the present and how it is going to get advanced day by day technology is something that we see use in every day to day life whenever you talk on your mobile phone switch on the tv or work on your computer you are using the latest technology technology is the practical application of knowledge in our everyday lives and leads to a new product or an improvement improvement in the way something works or how something is done yes it is a practical approach yes it's something that we are gaining the knowledge by using it day by day yes children so we are using each and everything we are switching on the TVs nowadays the TVs are getting advanced before that uh, use the manual TVs normal TVs but now it has going to be changed day by day manual tv then lcd and now led smart tv etc etc so how the technology is getting advanced updated so we are gaining a lot of huge knowledge with the usage of the technology yes it is something that we can gain the knowledge and it is something that can give us the negative impact in our life also so it is depend on us how we use the technology and how we are going to take it in a better way yes everything has the pros and cons advantages and disadvantages it is up to us how we are going to consider it use it in our daily life and what i was saying is that even when you sharpen your pencil you use instrument if you are sharpening a pencil also it needs an instrument what that instrument name is is that sharpener yes for cutting and chopping when you cook in different vessels we need different types of knives yes for fruits for cutting the fruits there is different knives and for different different things are used for different different things to cut it one knife is not going to use for all the cutting items different vegetables are being cut by different tools different knives so in this way what we are going to learn is the each and every instrument is placed and established for different work yes so that i'm going to tell you that how the changes is technology is going to happen how the basic things has moved to advance and how the advanced things has moved to the updated things so in this subtopic that only we are going to learn how the technology is going to change for example that i can give is the before the telephones were used yes after that that small manual phones were used and after that what happened that flip mobile phones has been introduced in the world and after right now what we are using we are using the latest advanced technology smartphones which is going to provide all in one yes there is calendar there is time there we can call there we can message us take the photos record the videos and browse the internet each and everything so that is why i'm saying it is an advanced smartphone that we are using in our generation so how the technology is getting changed we are learning that only technology can be found at home in a factory for communication and transport yes so whatever we are doing in our life is completely based on the technology if we are cooking and we want something to be a paste 
or else what I should say something we need to grind it we need a soft batter so what we will do we will use a mixer we will use a grinder or else we will use a food processor so all these are the uh, what I should say the products which are made of the technology yes and what else for communication and transport for communication what did I said best example is the smartphones not only for communication is it is a multi-purpose communication device that it provides each and everything communication and social interaction information and uh, basic information about the temperature about the day about the calendar and uh, each and everything our work is done on the tips yes just by touch we can do our work just by clicking on the scent we can send the mails to anywhere within the minutes we can send our messages in any parts of the world and transport yes for transportation also we are using advanced vehicles day by day the vehicles are getting advanced so all this is happening due to the changes in the technology think of all the complicated machinery and technology used nowadays in space explorations in factories for transport and so on technology has developed over time and you have learned about the industrial revolution and how there was a tremendous change in the methods of production during the 18th and 19th century yes so in this changes in technology there is a one concept that has given in your textbook is the industrial revolution so what is this industrial revolution industrial revolution is all about machineries and uh, technologies which has been uh, established by the Britishers in our country in which century in the 18th and the 19th century so this industrial revolution has been brought up by the uh, Britishers and uh, with their concepts and with their terms conditions and with their technologies and machineries we have continued our industries and factories how they perform the work and how they have introduced the machineries in the 18th and 19th century we are continuing that only the first introduction of the machines and technology was introduced by the Britishers in the year in the centuries of the 18th and 19th so the first introduction which the industrial revolution has brought up in the 18th and 19th century was the steam engine yes so the steam engine was introduced by them only by the Britishers and everybody know how the steam engine was used to change many production process in factories so this steam engine has been used in the factories and industries for production of the for production and manufacturing the products later on with the in mention and discovery of new sources of energy such as electricity factories as we see them today emerged emerged means come out yes so later on the sources of energy has been introduced new new methods new new forms has been introduced to advance their technology methods so electricity has been used before that steam engine use hota tha and after that they have improved their technology in terms of electricity and survived uh, in the factories and in the what should i say in the uh, industries yes when a new machine or method of production is created for the first time it is called invention yes so when any machinery or any technology is introduced in the factory or in the industry yes for the production method of production is created for the first time it is called invention okay invention is nothing where the technology or machine is used for the method of production for the first time however practical application of these ideas take a long time and depend on many factories yes if they have introduced also they have to use in their factories it takes a lot of time because new new machineries new new technologies are not used by each and every worker they must be a trainer they must be 
a guidance so that the workers can work on those kind of new new machineries and technologies this could be improvements to make the technology effective reducing cost of new techniques acceptance of a new way of product so while using the new technology students what will happen the work will get reduced the time will get reduced and so many products will going to be established in that factory and what is happening the new thing that the workers are going to learn is the working on the technology acceptance of the new new methods like as i said that everyone is not familiar with the new techniques with the new methods how to use the technology for that there must be a guidance there must be a trainer so that there must be a workshop for that how to use that particular machinery or engine so that the workers can use them in a proper way otherwise if something is happen to that machinery who is going to bear the losses the owners of the factories and the industries has to bear all the losses of the technology so that is why it is better to learn how to uh, what i should say how to operate the machinery it is very very essential technical developments or technical improvements due to completely new types of machinery x-ray machines and power looms or changes in the types of raw materials used plastic instead of rubber or reorganization of production production process so what is happening here in the industry is that everything is getting changed new new methods and improvements are going to be made so new type of machinery x-ray machines and power looms yes x-ray machines and power looms were used in the industries to reduce the time so that the workers can work on such technology they can produce more production and they can earn more and more profit in the industries and changes in the types of raw materials also before that what was happening in the industries they were using the plastic okay raw materials used plastic instead of rubber yes yeah. before that they were using the rubber but as how the changes in technology is happening they were using using the plastic instead of rubber or reorganization of production process if things are getting changed what will happen children everything will have to get changed changes in technology is that only in the 18th and 19th century in the industrial revolution the steam engine was introduced after that the source of energy has been changed and they have started using the electricity in the factories and industries which leads to new techniques new methods and the workers have to work on those machineries new changes in technologies and they have to learn how to operate those machines and what else is happening in the industries and they are using a new methods of machines new techniques and new types of machines x-ray machines power looms and instead of a rubber the industries are using plastic and each and every process of production whole production is getting changed when there is using the technology so in this way i have covered the changes in technology in the next class we are going to continue the same lesson with another sub topic till then revise this chapter and don't forget to go through this lesson as it is a very very important and uh, what i should say the things which we use in our day to day life is based on that only technology is very interesting lesson to so go through this and we'll back with another new sub topic till then take care thank you